The setter is to a volleyball team as a point guard is to a basketball team. Like the point guard, the setter distributes the ball. The hitter may get most of the points, but they wouldn't be able to do it without the setter getting them the ball. Hi everybody, I'm Chris Marlowe along with Olympic gold medalist Misty May. We're here to cover the skill of setting. Setter guides a volleyball team's offense on the floor like a point guard runs a basketball team's offense. The setter does most of the setting, but sometimes everyone on the team has to step up and set the ball, so you should learn the proper technique. Misty, what is the proper technique in setting and why is it so important? Proper technique is important. Without the proper execution, you could cost your team a point, either by carrying the ball, which is you're bringing it down too low and holding it a little too long, or doubling it, where both hands aren't hitting the ball simultaneously. Setters, though, are the quarterbacks of the volleyball team, and they must set up a good offense. They're the ones that get, deliver the ball to the middles, outsides, and right sides, so they can put the ball away. But not always are the setters going to be the ones setting. A middle might have to step in, or a left side, and a right side might have to deliver a good set. All right, so setting, one of the keys to volleyball. And don't forget, here on Sports School, you can use your remote to stop, pause, rewind, or fast forward any of the training techniques that we're demonstrating. This means you are in total control. You can learn at your own pace. The first key to setting is proper body positioning. Your right leg should be slightly in front of your left, knees bent, shoulders in front of your toes. Now this is gonna vary from player to player. Some setters are tall, some are short. So it's just finding that happy medium that you're comfortable with. Second is hand positioning. You want your elbow slightly out a little bit. Hands are gonna to form to the ball. Index fingers and thumbs are gonna stay equal distance when receiving right through the delivery. The very last thing is the delivery. Now it's very important to get under the ball every time you set. Make sure your hips are facing the target. You should be waiting in proper setting positioning, waiting for that ball to come down. As soon as it's in your hands, your weight is gonna transfer from your back foot to your front foot and everything should follow through right to where you want that ball to go. Now if I bring it down below, I might get called for a carry. If I bring my hands up one at a time and hit the ball not simultaneously, I might get called for a double. Now that you know the basics of setting, here are some drills to try on your own. All you need for this drill is yourself and a ball. Keep your hands open and firm. Same distance between the index fingers and thumbs. A key, maintain your hand shape after you deliver the ball. The ball should come out very soft and quiet. This drill works on your hand position and delivery. You can also do this drill against a wall at various distances to improve your strength and accuracy. Good job. Make sure that you're in good setting position. You wouldn't set with your legs together. So stagger it as if you're setting in a match. Bend your torso a little slightly forward. There you go. Nice and soft. You have control that your hands form to the ball. Now that we've worked on hand positioning, and little sets, now it's time to add in the weight transfer. Proper body posture. Remember, your right foot is always a little bit ahead of your left foot. Transfer your weight from left to right to give power to the set. Work on controlling the height of the ball. Whenever you set the ball, hand position and delivery are key. To change the height of the set, put more power into the ball. Push harder. To soften up the set, use less power. Now that we've walked you through the part of the front set, now we're going to learn the technique of the back set. It's very, very similar to the front set, but now instead of setting forward, we're going to be moving our offense behind us. With this, there are some slight differences. First off, 
Your body position is gonna remain the same. Weight will still transfer from your back foot to your right foot, but now your hips are gonna get a little more involved and your back. Now, instead of your hips staying in the same position, they're gonna move slightly up and forward, allowing your back to arch, and now your follow through will be slightly behind you. To get under the ball every time, you want your opposition to think you're front setting, but instead, that back arch is gonna allow you to push that ball back. You wanna keep getting the ball on top of your forehead. You move your feet to get there as fast as you can. You wanna be waiting there for the ball to come fall right into your hand. Learning some of these techniques requires practice. But don't forget that on sports school, you can stop, rewind, and pause these lessons as much as you want until you feel comfortable. You are in total control. I've showed you the techniques of a back set. Now it's time to try it on your own. The body posture is basically the same for a back set as a front set. You transfer your weight to the right foot, then the hips go forward and up, slight arch in the back. The delivery and the follow through is back over your head. Set the ball up, back, behind you, let it drop. The setter runs the offense and ideally sets most of the balls, but everyone on the team gets called on sometimes to set. Every player needs to know how to set legally and efficiently to help the team. Start by getting under the ball. Face where you want it to go, except for a back set, of course. Stagger your feet because you will need to transfer your weight from your back foot to your front foot as you push up from your hips, elbows, and wrists. Remember to keep the hands open, shaped like the ball with your thumbs and index fingers forming a triangle. Make sure your hands and fingers maintain position. Don't bend them so you get called for a carry. If you can set properly, the key then becomes getting to the ball. 